All right. So the news, the first bit of news we got this week, um, the Venom 3 trailer, uh, Venom The Last Dance dropped this week. Uh, it's, what a dumb fucking title. <laughs> Sorry. It's interesting. Um, there's talk that this is the last Venom movie. Um, I don't know what that means. Is Tom Hardy done playing the role? Uh, I don't know. And I think the CGI Venom is is tired of playing the movie and wants to start doing off Broadway stuff. <laughs> I mean, he never got to play against his his his, his ultimate rival, you know, oh Tom Holland. So, oh, that's good. Um, uh, yeah, and I think what you're talking about the scene in the trailer is uh, the guy comes and he's got a tube and he he he's getting that piece of the symbiote that they put in the after credit scene to make it think like, oh, Spider-Man's going to fight Venom in the MCU. And the actor who does it is the same actor who plays Mordo, Mordo in Doctor Strange, but he's, he's playing someone different in this movie. So it's just like, that's confusing in itself. But... I think they're saying that no, that that that's still in the same universe as Venom. So no, like I it, there's a there's a theory that Sony snuck that stuff in it, to get to force uh, Marvel to do Spider-Man versus Venom, and Marvel's like, nah, that, that's not going to happen. So um, yeah, CG Venom is upset with his character growth between movies and wants to enter the Mad Max franchise. <laughs> um, he obviously hasn't seen the current Mad Max franchise, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Leave the Venomverse to his ungrateful children. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god! Thank you, you Sean! Our first super chat! Yay! Oh, no. Um, okay, what now I'm unfamiliar with the protocol. Um, what do we do now? Uh, like, like, we, are, are we supposed to we go, send him, we go to like, the bar, we buy a shot with do, that because that's about uh, I was gonna say, do we send him our bath water? What do we do? Like, I don't understand what <laughs> we no, just no, celebrate no. him. He's just, he's just we celebrate him, we say thank that's you, that's way <laughs> we appreciate uh, it. Yeah, no, there's no bath water, there's no, there's no uh, uh sniffing farts. Or anything like that. But this but is this just... is what I've heard the internet's about. I mean, I'm I'm obviously where are you hanging out to be on the top internet? Of these trends. Right. <laughs> That's we for not... you know desperate younger attractive ladies, not not us. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not we're not attractive ladies at all. Sorry. Will, will they pay us for not sending them our bathwater? <laughs> I guess if you were going to send bath water. Wait, wait, hold on. If we threaten them with <laughs> with sending them John's bath water, yeah. how much money will that get us? <laughs> May contain cat hair. <laughs> so John oh takes baths. <laughs> he licks himself because he's a cat. Well, we, we'd only be able to do it once a year in that case. You're you're correct. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Um wow, we got three <laughs> So, so what, what were we talking about? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Venom, sorry. Venom 3. Um yes, yeah, so the same actor who I can't, I can't his name escapes me off the top of my head. He um he's Tom playing Hart. a different character oh, no, in this movie right. than Doctor Strange. So that has confused people. And yes, I think Sony was trying to trick Marvel into doing Spider-Man versus Venom and Marvel's like Nah, we're not going to do that. And I think that's why now he's just capturing that piece of the symbiote in the beginning of the the movie. I'm, I Mar have a feeling like that's how the movie opens. Mar Marvel is Marvel's already dealing with their own house fires, um, and you don't bully the mouse. I mean, anybody who's seen the South Park episode knows you do not bully the mouse. Uh -huh. Sony, you just—I mean, you're big, but you're not Disney big. Right. You're not uh -huh. going to—you're not going to force them to do anything. No, no, no. Um, I give them credit for not just leaving it out there, though. You know, at least they close that loop. Yeah. I mean, mm. th that's good. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, and in an interview, I, I should have included this. In an interview with Tom Hardy, 
he hinted at, but didn't say outright that you know they do they do have their own Spider Man in this verse. And I'm like, what what is that? Yeah, he almost hinted at like yeah, that's new. There will be a Spider Man like and and again, this is all rumor stuff. But there have been rumors for a while about uh, Andrew Garfield playing in another Spider Man movie. Like, and we see, I don't I, want that. I want Tobey Maguire and John Malkovich. I want Spider Man 4. That's honestly what I want more than anything out of the Spider Man movies here. But yeah, that's true. But like, and that's the thing. Like, did Sony and Marvel come to some kind of weird agreement? And like, there's an argument to be made that there's a Batman movie series. Well, there's only one so far, but they are making the second one. That's totally disconnected from a DC extended universe. Like it's a different Batman, you know, with the the, the sparkly guy, the sparkly. It's Vampire not the guy. Reeves verse. The yeah, Reeves Pat- verse. Battinson, yeah, Battinson. It's not Battinson. different from that. right, but but no, no, no. I'm saying that yeah, Battinson, like that's its own thing. Where you had Ben These Affleck. fucking Batman universes are we gonna have? That's crazy. But I'm saying like they're letting they're letting DC do that have multiple batmans and yeah apparently didn't confuse the fans i think it did so like why not have multiple spider-mans out there now they call yeah. it elseworld yeah Cassan's uh, right they do say thanks, they, it, it is elseworlds but yeah like you could it's say true, but is, your your everyday fans not doesn't know about elseworlds at all yeah and i think if they actually did manage to get another successful batman ip then people would would start to be confused I think that right now they've only got one definitive Batman. Uh, Thrawn says, heard a rumor that people will uh, people who've seen the Goblin and Doc Ock <laughs> in the Holland verse will attempt to emulate, emulate them. Uh, emulate them to have those characters established in the MCU. Huh. That would be great. It's not a bad. It's not a bad idea. Mm. Um, you know, because I mean, we need. We need like they've ruined a lot of his villains and they've uh killed a lot of them off, but it's not a bad idea. Like Doc Ock is one of the main Spider-Man villains in the in the books, you know. And if they're doing a reset on Spidey where you know he's by himself and he's got his own homemade costume now, like that's where we ended uh No Way Home with. Yeah, let's give him a Doc Ock to go against. That would be great. Um and it's funny, like we're we're saying all this, and I saw a, a a post on social media this week, and I did comment on it where basically somebody was saying, "What's your least favorite MCU movie?" Right? He didn't say Marvel; he said MCU. And then people were saying uh, Ang Lee's Hulk or uh, Madam Web or whatever. And it's like Madam Web wasn't, yeah. I was, <laughs> and I I did comment. I'm like. You guys are mentioning Marvel movies, but that aren't necessarily MCU. And Disney actually said at one point they were going to sue. Uh, they were thinking about suing Sony because they were making terrible movies, that comic book movies that were tangentially uh, attached, and it made people confused. <laughs> Uh, and it hurt their brand, right? Yeah, Cra- because- Craven hasn't come out yet. I- I'm sure when that comes out, they'll definitely sue because. And it's like, and I'm like, if, when I first heard it, I'm like, that's ridiculous. But then it's like, I see people commenting and I'm like, they might have a point. It does. People are confused. What's Marvel? Mm-hmm. What is, uh, mm-hmm. and what isn't, you know? Well, that but they the wrote that brand. check. They yeah. wrote that yeah. check back when they wanted Spider-Man in Civil War. Hmm. Uh, give me a cool camel, uh, chameleon, chameleon yeah. spy drama. Yeah. Oh, there's there's a lot you could do with a lot of the Spider-Man rogues. Yeah, you, yeah you make a good it's, movie, put a good story in there. You know, we're going to be there. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be thing. world ending. Is a guy who's a master of disguise a compelling villain today? You know? I think you could yes. be if written correctly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it be the... Um, the scroll, the sc- uh, scrolls. It would be the scrolls done right if you True. did it right. You know, like you mean it, not I mean, like a per- secret invasion. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah. Because that was just And you ridiculous. will see them do it with Mystique, though, too. So I kind of get, True. I mean, that could get redundant, but still. Well, and they would both have. He's in the Spider Man Rogues Gallery, though, and some yeah. like level like that could be awesome. If it would well. be, it the difference would be the flair or the, you know, their their personality and how they how they use the power, right? But it would be perfect for a spy or, you know, like a whodunit drama or something. <laughs> Kassan says they'll lose the case when you factor in the Marvels, Eternals, and Secret Invasion. And Thor, Love, and Thunder. Can't, can't disagree with them. Uh, there's a chance Craven... Oh, this is Thrawn. Uh, there's a chance Craven could pull it off. Madam Web set a They're really low bar. Low yes. bar. <laughs> I mean, you're not, you're not incorrect. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal for Mysterio. Huh. I don't hate that. Do we love him? Doesn't everyone love Jake Gyllenhaal? Isn't that he was. I thought he was good in that. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't think he was bad at all. I just. Yeah, I can't say I'm a Jake Gyllenhaal guy. Yeah. Yeah, but they they left him open for being for um you know surviving because again yeah. the whole point of him is you you don't know what reality is. So yeah. did he die? Did he not die? Who knows. So. Um. All right. All right. Well, Venom three. Uh, we are gonna probably watch it for the podcast. Sorry, because there isn't a lot of movies coming out this year. Um, you got a few months to, to right. prepare yourselves. Hmm. Thanks for watching this clip from the Superhero Speak podcast. And don't forget to watch us live every Sunday night right here on this channel. While you're here, hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications so you won't miss out on any of our great upcoming content. Speaking of content, don't forget to check out our website, SuperheroSpeak.com, where you can find the podcast, links to our social media, merch, comic reviews, and so much more. That's SuperheroSpeak.com. Thanks for watching, and don't let your cape be caught in the door. See you next time.